high scott uh, you were with uh, band nervosis for about half of your life i imagine it was a big challenge to start a solo project back in 2001 what was the reason to do that um uh, i was just kind of driven to do it i started having a lot of thoughts about it um probably around 99 or something i started thinking about doing it and had kind of decided that it was going to be a big challenge that I really wanted to try to do it just because I just appreciated a lot of uh, music like that and um, I felt like it was so opposite to what I had been doing that I wanted to to see if I could you know and um, that was my main inspiration really I just you know, just to do something different, you know, try to express myself artistically in a different way, maybe a more simple, stripped down, direct sort of way. Yeah. All right, uh, now you are drive, diving into dark, deep folk waters. Um, do you see that as a channel to strip down music, as you said before? Yeah, I mean, I think that. Um, as I get more comfortable doing this, that it becomes something that where I can, I, I am able to pull out more from within myself to um, to share, you know, in these songs. Um, you know, it's a pretty intimate way of expressing yourself, and it's um, you know, it, it it leaves you very open, you know. So uh, it's kind of treacherous in that. Um, I guess I, I feel more open to criticism and stuff within that framework. If I'm playing in Neurosis or Shrine Builder, I don't really notice so much what's going on with the crowd or what they may or may not be doing or saying during the songs. For one reason, I can't hear them, and for another reason, it's just it's a totally different sort of mental... Um, capacity for me at that time you know so with these songs and these performances I'm way more reserved and focused um, in a, a calm sort of way so I tend to really notice everything around me and I've had to train myself to go deeper in in order to do the performances and I think that by training myself to do that that when I get into the writing process, I'm able to go deeper as well. So I think that in that way, it's helped me with all of my music. You know, it's helped me go deeper. Uh, to be a musician is a job like any other. I imagine a hard job. Maybe uh, your personal uh, thinking. What, what music means to you? It's my religion. You know, pure and simple. It's what. I base my experience, my beliefs, um, through my life with music, um, either listening to it or creating it, you know. Um, I definitely would not be here talking to you right now if it wasn't for music, you know. Um, but it's not my job, I mean, I have a regular job too, you know, I don't, I don't make a living off of music. Um, I choose not to because I because I just feel that when, once you've made a commitment to that, that the music begins to suffer in many ways because it, it becomes, your, um, becomes your paycheck and therefore that starts to influence some of your decisions. Um, and music is so important to me. Um, I mean, I suppose if I could make a living off of touring two or three months a year, I would do it, um, and I would spend the rest of the time at home, you know, but um, can't do that, so, um, and, you know, times like these, it's, it's always good to have a backup plan, you never know, the way things go, uh, touring may not be something we can do much longer, I have no idea, you know, the world is changing rapidly, so. Uh, what uh, influence your writing, your lyrics, and your songs? This is my life, I guess. You know, it's just my, just it's my, uh, it's my life. You know, it's, it's about all I can say. They don't make uh, 
typically they don't make a whole lot of sense literally. Sometimes they do. Sometimes I'm able to pick a subject and write a song, you know. Um, and I, and I, I, I strive to do that more. Um, but usually my lyrics come as more of a, like, uh, what I've heard described before is like a tone poem. Like you kind of hear the sound of, of the lyrics in your head and then you take those lyrics, you take those sounds and turn them into words. And then you kind of rewrite and rewrite and rewrite until the words are the words that you want them to be, if that makes any sense. Um, I think a lot of people write like that, actually. Um, so once that's done, then I just leave them be, and I just believe that they're the right words. Whether they make a whole lot of sense or not, I don't really know, you know to be honest. What's driving you on today? I'm still hungry, you know. I still have the fire in me to create every day, you know. I always want to go. I I don't. Um, I think that's one of the other things that um, doesn't go away when you're when you're not making a living making music, you know. When it's still just your passion, you know. It's not. It's not. You know. I don't write songs to put out an album every year and tour you know i write songs when the songs are ready to be written and i tour when i can you know um the basic music industry thing is you know you put out an album every year and you go on tour for a year and a half you know i mean if there's a cycle to it that that you get pushed into that um never fit for me or neurosis uh, in any way so um I think you got to let things age and mature properly, you know, you can't just rush things and expect them to carry weight. I think that in my experience, you know, I, I can see that in every band that's ever existed. You can see when things start to go wrong and when the music suffers, you know, um, and it's usually when that cycle is put into place. And you're not able to get free of it, you know. So, what's going on with band uh, Neurosis? Uh, we're writing a new record. It's almost done written. Uh, uh, we've been writing it for like three years, so um, it's starting now to finally come into the final stages. I think. Um, hopefully, we'll get it recorded this year, and get it out late this year, early next year. We have gigs coming up too, but uh, some European gigs in summertime, a um, couple US gigs during the year. Last question. Uh, the last song on the album The Wake uh, is Remember Me. How would you like to be remembered? I know you're still young, but tell me. 43. <laughs> um, you know, I would love it if. Uh, People just remember that I uh, that I did my best, you know. I just I, I tried my best to do the right thing. Um, I continue to try to be a better person in my life and with my music, and um, and uh, hopefully people will understand that and uh, forgive me for my uh, mistakes that I made in my life, you know. But you can't unring a bell, you know? So it just, it's just kind of the way things are. Once you've done something, you can't take it back, you know? So I hope that, uh, that those things will be, you know, a part of it, but that people will remember that I, I did do my best. It's my best intentions.